You see, thanking or thankful, thankful is an old Anglo-Saxon language word, thankfulness. Yeah. Also, it means thankfulness, T-H-I-N-K, F-U-L-N-E-S-S. -S. You see, the more we think, somebody say think, the more we think, the more thankful we will be. <laughs> we might say that those who are not thankful do not think too much. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a moment to think about what you have and how God has blessed you. Think about it. You may say, well, Pastor, I, I don't have too much. But I want you to think. You're not thinking hard enough. T-H-I-N-K. Because if you think hard enough, you begin to count your blessings one by one. Hey, let's count your many blessings and see what God has done. And see what God is doing. Hallelujah. Because I'm here to tell you, my friend, tonight or this evening, when you begin to think about the goodness of the Lord, your soul will cry out. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. What God has done in my life. And I don't mind lifting up holy hands. I don't mind praising the Lord. He said he was tired of this old house and he wanted a new one. All right, all right. The agent asked him to describe the house uh -huh. so that uh, a good ad could be put in the newspaper. Uh -huh. The man began to tell the agent about the new carpet in the house, the added room he built on the house, Whoa. the new roof that he put on the house, Whoa. how he had a great front yard and backyard with fruit trees. <laughs> well, the agent wrote the ad and he called the man back to read it to him and of course the man interrupted the agent halfway through the ad and he said all my life I wanted a house like this <laughs> he said I just didn't realize it until I thought about it you see he was thinking about what he had I didn't realize until I thought about it and if we really think about our lives we may discover just how fortunate that we really are we all need to thank you me man you see it's such a powerful resource for living and set, yet we we do such little of it oh yes it's very easy when we come to in an atmosphere or an environment like we have here today very easy for us to lift our hands in praise unto the lord because there's such an atmosphere amen pastor pickney amen here it's not very hard but what about tomorrow what about when we leave what about when we face the obstacles of the day and what about when we amen when we go from day to day amen and and, and from night to night and when, when the troubles of this old world begin to amount and what about when we're, we're not around our brothers and sisters in the faith amen we say this is when this is when we have to amen say you're a blessed the Lord of my soul and all that's within me that's when we have to amen say it two or three times bless the Lord of my soul amen don't forget his benefits hallelujah praise God I'm here to tell you my friend we need to be thankful amen Hallelujah. We do. We do. In and out of church. Hallelujah. That's right. Right. That's right. 
I read about two friends. One was named Jeremy in Washington, and the other named Michelle Stevens, who got together three times a month for what they call a gratitude month. Yeah, right. You see, with good reasons, Washington donated kidney to Stephen, uh -huh. who he described as just a friend. They met at work, and they used to have lunch together. One day, Michelle wept as she spoke about wanting the kidney donor. She was on a list for 11 months, and she was been sustained by dialysis and but suffered chronic fatigue and blackout and was plagued with joint pains and all the things that come along. Amen. With dialysis, and of course, uh, the, the, it, it, Washington couldn't stand it any longer. The other friend, Washington's friend, just slowly deteriorated, and died. Mm -hmm. So he gave her one of his kidneys. Uh -huh. And when you've got something great to be thankful for, having a gratitude lunch is the way that you get together and you celebrate it. Yeah. Like we're having today, we're having Amen. a gratitude celebration. You see, this worship service is a gratitude life. Yes. And you say, Amen. Amen. We're thankful, Amen, that we have friends. We're thankful that we have brothers and sisters in the Lord. Yes. Amen. When we come together and we come together with the Lord's Supper. We had, we had communion this morning. Amen. It's a gratitude lunch. Oh, yes, it's yes. thankful for what Christ has yes. done in our lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. Come over 2,000 years ago. Amen. Yes. And Calvary, we're thankful for that. Yes. Amen. How we've been brought out of darkness yes. into a marvelous light. Yes. Hallelujah. We're thankful, yes. amen, for our brothers and sisters yes. in the faith. Yes. Amen. That encourage us, amen, week after week, amen, two or three times a week when we come together. Amen. We're blessed by them. Amen. And their testimony and their love and their ministry. And if we're thankful, amen, for what God is going to do and how He's coming back, amen, again. Amen. He said for us to come together and we partake of the Lord's Supper until He comes. Until He comes. Communion with the Lord. We begin to be thankful for one another. Amen. And when we come together and we worship God, amen, and we respect one another and love one another. Amen. There's a spirit as it is today of thanksgiving in our midst. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, I really want to say thank you all. Thank you, Lord. You see, we just want to tell him thank you. Thank Hallelujah. You, you see, because he has rescued us. Somebody say rescued us yes. from the dominion of darkness. Yes. He brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. Yes. We have redemption. We have the forgiveness of sin. Yeah. Can you say amen? Yeah. And thus we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody thank you, my right man. Yeah. Even if this has not been the best years we have ever had, we say thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, our gratitude and our thankfulness does not depend upon That we're so thankful. He is the reason that we're so thankful. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I know that's right. Hallelujah. He is the reason. I was reading a story about the war that was taking place in Germany. This German pastor named Martin Rinkar, he, he had written quite a few songs. And he had said to have, during the war, he had buried 5,000 of his parishioners in one year. An wow. average of 15 people a day. Can you imagine wow. that? Wow. Having 15 funerals a day. Wow. 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 So his parish was ravaged by war and death and economic disaster. In the heat of the darkness, with the cries of fear outside his window, he said he sat down and he wrote this song. Now thank we all our God yeah. with hearts and hands and voices mm -hmm. whose wondrous things has done in whom his world rejoices.